right. Before that. Go on then. Sorry. It's all right. I've jumped in, didn't I? Before that, fine. after five years... I was really looking forward to reading this link. This is my favourite link <laughs> of the day. You read it, cool. You no, do it, no, you no, do no, it. No, no, You'll right, do it better anyway. After five years <laughs> on the street, it's almost time for Bethany to say goodbye to Weatherfield. But will she be leaving alone? Uh, do I read yours? <laughs> read mine. OK, tonight, actress Lucy Fallon appears yeah. in her final episode of Coronation Streets before we talk to her and see what she can tell us about it. It's only fair that we take a trip down memory lane. I'm Gavin, by the way. And I'm thirsty. So come on. Oh, you've lied. You stole your rock. You shouldn't keep cashing that pot, then it's so obvious. You're not even sorry. Why should I be? Oh! <laughs> Mum, what are you doing here? Is it because of how you think you might look? Because I actually can't remember the last time I've seen you eat. <laughs> you look good. We should shoot wider next time. See more of that killer body. I thought he really liked me. Now I know it was just a trick. He just wanted me to sleep with the other men. It made me feel like I wasn't just that girl who got abused by those men. Lucy joins us now, so we'll come to the wedding and her reaction to Daniel and all of that. But um, let's talk about the reason why she's going. And this is this opportunity down in London, this is internship at a magazine, and, and it's a bit bittersweet for her, isn't it, this leaving? Yeah, I think, obviously, she's going to miss everybody. She's... Um... She loves the Platts, she wants to stay with them. And also, uh, she's got this thing with Daniel at the moment, her and Daniel are together. And um, I think at the moment, she's kind of in two minds. She sort of, in the back of her mind, she knows that Daniel is not over Sinead. She, mm -hmm. He's still really grieving. Um, and yeah, she wants to sort of see what happens with that. But then she's got this opportunity yeah. and she needs to go and... Do what she's got do to it, do. Yeah. Yeah. Please, but the thing is, there's many, many residents on the cobbles yes. believe, and I think we're going to see, uh, that he is not no. over her. No, he's definitely not. And I think that he's kind of found that Bethany fills that void that Sinead left, which, it, all in all, it's just a really sad storyline, and Bethany has accidentally fallen in love with Daniel. Oh. Um, and, yeah, it's just going to end in tears. Do you think, under different circumstances, they're actually quite a good match? Yeah, I really, I really do. I think that they are, are really good for each other, and, um, you know, Daniel's really helped Bethany with her writing course and, and everything and he's kind of been the one that's led the way to, for her to get this internship mm. and she's r really been a shoulder for him as well yeah. and um, I think this has just accidentally happened. Well we've got a clip now from, uh, from tonight so I think this is where it begins to go a bit wrong. Daniel, come on mate. I don't have a home. No that's not true, I do. I have a home with you. That's where my home is Bethany, wherever you are. Look, okay, he's not going to start singing, is he? No, I'm not going to start singing because I'm tone deaf. She knows that, but she still loves me. Daniel, come on. No, I'm doing this. Got a ring. Oh, God. Now it's up to you. Oh, and uh, there's the crux. Uh, and we'll yeah. We won't there. actually say anything. No. We won't say what happens there, but no. that is a critical moment. It is, yeah, because also I think... Um, Obviously, we don't know whether Bethany is going to say yes or no, and uh, we don't know whether Bethany is going to leave on her own or whether she's going to go with Daniel. With him, yeah, yeah. and we won't spoil that for anybody. No. Um, for you, however, this has been five years, I know. and it's always a huge decision leaving a yeah. soap, especially one like Coronation Street that people love so much yeah. and are desperate to be part of. Exactly. So then make the choice yourself I know. to leave. I think it was it was mainly because before Corrie, Corrie was my first job. I was just at sixth form before Corrie, and I've not done anything else. Uh, it kind of got to the point where I've been there for five years, I've had loads of amazing storylines, and it was kind of now or never. Um, mm. I didn't want to get so far down the line and kind of look back and think, I, I wish I'd have just gone and tried other things. Um, and, you know, it might not work out, I might not work again, but I, I need to try, because if I don't try, I'll never know. Well, here's yet. the lucky thing, yeah. because you, you say to the team, do you know what, I think... I'm, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Yeah. So you hand your notice in, essentially, and then they've got to find a nice way out, yeah. one way or the other, a way that shoots the, that suits the show. Yeah. Um, and um, and so you throw your fate. Yeah, you kind of leave writers, it up. You leave you? it up to the them. Yeah. Team. They could. You might have looked at it and gone, oh, she's hit by a crane. Yes, exactly. Or, you know, it could have been, could have been exactly. anything. Exactly. Yeah. I know it could have been anything, and I was kind of okay with that. You know, it was my decision to leave, so it's up to them. I, I left that down to them, but obviously, I am, I am glad that she's not been hit. By a crane, so, she's, <laughs> so, so she is allowed to go off and do her internship in London, which could either be successful or unsuccessful. Yeah, so she'll just drop right back 
to where she started, yeah. she'll come back down. So they must want to they yeah. must want to keep the door open for you. Well, which that's, is really yeah, nice. that's really nice. So, however, you might not ever go back, and those scenes, those final scenes, filming might um, be the be last, last one. So I imagine that was in the back of your head. Yeah, no, the, the whole day when we were filming, I was just crying all day. It was awful. I was, it was pathetic. I just could oh. not stop crying. But um, yeah, it was so nice, and I am going to miss everybody. That's the main thing. It's yeah. the, it's the people. Mm. They're I'm sure that you'll feel the same, everybody here. It's like a family, as cliche yeah. as it is. It, it's it's true, and, yeah, yeah. I am... So did you have, on your final scene, did you have sort of friends around, a um, family? Yeah, my family all came, and my mum, dad, my sisters and my boyfriend. Oh. I think Angela's here today. She is, she's over there. There she, she is, Angela. Mom. There she's Hi, giving, give us a wave. <laughs> there, there, there she is. Did you... So what did mum say when you said, I'm going to leave? I don't I don't actually think she was very happy, really, were you? Yeah, no, no. She... What, did you, what did you think, Angela? I thought, no, don't, She wanted don't me to do. stay. <laughs> she wanted me to stay. Uh -huh. Just more for the yeah, yeah. the security. I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 As, a mom, as a mom, yeah, she she probably worries about me. The fact that. I might not get another job. I might not work again. Uh, but no, I think that it was so nice though having them all there and, mm. and seeing the last day. That You've made been able it more. To change your hair. I know. That long. Is, obviously, <laughs> being a character, you have to keep everything. Yeah, the same. I know that, that was fine. really weird when I was able to just go to the hairdressers and just. What be like, do I want? Yeah, what not do what does I Bethany want? want. What, what do, do I want? I want? Yeah. So what do you want? What's next? What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm, I'm auditioning at the moment for different things. Um, I think the beauty of it is, I've, because I've only done Corey, I, I'm kind of open to do whatever, um, yeah. like theatre, TV, film, anything. So um, yeah, I'm just going to keep my options open, oh, see what happens. Exciting. It is exciting. It's exactly what you should be doing. Yeah. How's the London Marathon going? Yeah, OK. <laughs> it's going OK. Um, yeah, it's it's tough. It's really tough. I'm not a runner. I'm asthmatic. Um, and, yeah, I've got... Uh, all the odds are against me, but hopefully... Well, also, also, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong here, but when we were sort of looking through the story today and yeah. you uh, got to the <laughs> London Marathon, that you, um, you haven't been out much... No. ..because it's been raining. Yes, no, that is true. I mean, there's been a lot of storms, so I, I bought, like, a fold-down treadmill from Amazon. OK. Right. It's not very good, but I've been, I've been using that instead. Okay. But now that it's sunnier, I'll, I'll go outside. Get out so, there. So, on, on London Marathon Day, what happens if it's raining? I just have to put up with it, I <laughs> You'll be fine. Corrie's <laughs> tonight at 7.30 on ITV, and it's lovely to see oh, you. Thank, thank you for having thank me. You. Thank you.